What do you think about when you hear the word sand? Construction, beaches, or silicon dioxide? The renowned Silicon Valley on the west coast of the U.S. got its name because most companies there belong to silicon-related industries. Silicon is a semiconductor used to make circuits and chips. So, do you know how sand is turned into chips? Uh, this is a engineering question, right? It's a very smart engineer who created it. So, sand is converted into silicon, and the silicon has been melted into the material to make chip. We use the diamond blades to cut the material and to have the chip wafer, and the wafer then being polished. Po polish right. This is how wafers or chips are made, and it's the first step of chip production. Next is photo etching. Photo resist is applied on the wafer, and photo resist is exposed to the ultraviolet light through a photographic mask in the shape of a pre-made circuit pattern. The parts of photo resist that are exposed become soft and washed away, leaving the remaining photo resist in the same pattern as the mask. Then, chemicals dissolve exposed wafer that are not protected by the remaining photo resist. After photo etching, the remaining photo resist is removed, leaving a layer with tools and patterns. You think it looks down? Not yet. The third step is duping. Boron or phosphorus is implanted into the silicon, and then copper is added. Next, a layer of photo resist is applied on top of it to add another layer to the structure. Today's most advanced chip manufacturing process is 5 nanometers in thickness. It's like 1 in 20,000 the thickness of a human fingernail. Now, Huawei's self-developed chips are entering an era of 7 nanometers and even 5 nanometers.